G'day everybody, it's Neil here and welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. We've just completed the Lich with the Barbarian. And although we would normally... We would normally open another character class, we're 10 gold shy, so we do actually have to do... The Ocular Rift, find your way into Eye Beast's Lair. And we're gonna use the Barbarian again. Yeah, Barbarian's quite fun. But then we will change immediately to a new class to give it a go. I do recall seeing an alchemist or a ranger on the list, so we'll give those a whack. And see if we can't get owned by those as well. Let's throw out a couple here and we'll hit the snake. Oh, and the fountain of decay. We're actually going to go for the death wish uh, method this way and we're going to punch the snake right in the head. Right, grab him by the fangs. Swing him around a little bit. Oh, look at this. He's already mad. He's already mad at me. What a bastard. I'm just really glad we do have the death wish here. We get that a little bit of extra health here. And it actually doesn't even feel like I've got the extra health because of the... Oh, shit. Because I'm such a lobby. But here we go. We're gonna punch him right of the snaky testicles, wherever the hell snake have testicles. And get some shields up, mate. Get a little bit of health, get a little bit of repel, and get a little bit of stupidity. Which really... It really gets my goat. Really gets my goat. Who the shit? A sapphire ring and a minotaur. Okay, well... I can just tell the Minotaur is not going to be fun. I'm going to carry on my back. Big spooky scary spider. Here against the K this fight. Ah, that should be fine for us. I don't like this. How does a spider have that? Oh, this actually should... Oh, no, it won't. <laughs> Fuck. He drained me. He drained me to his own benefits. There we go. Well, he's not draining me to buy benefit. That would be a different game entirely. Be some somewhat more like a dating sim. So a counter wooden board isn't too bad. Uh, we get more attacks here with a hand axe though. I kind of feel like we need to do that. Uh huh. Gold coin. Ah, oh, it's a fountain here. Uh, we'll go with a shade. I don't recall fighting a shade before. I don't know. I remember how tough they are. That looks like he just gained health though. Ah, oh, all right. Well, we get death wish in any case. That should help us out a little. Can't be killed unless on one minus one HP. Okay, so he's like he's lost his HP it seems. And we'll go through the unblockable here. Burn straight through those shields. Tenacious is actually a ballsy, ballsy fucking ability. I end, I actually had it one time on a piece of armor, and it saved me for two or three rounds. Uh, thanks to withstand as well at the same time. It's quite nice, quite nice. Uh, we do actually need to kill this guy. We're gonna take three. Sorry, we're gonna take two now. So we should, we should live. There we go. That's that's way too close to the wire for me. A Warhorn? Masquerade Mask, do we want to look fab or... I don't know why the Warhorn is so bloody magical. Surely the Warhorn would be people marching in the battle, wouldn't they? I've played my share of uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battles, I know the role of a musician, thank you very much. Alright, let's take... I feel like we're not prepared for this. That's only level 3 though, the Minotaur. So, who knows, man? Who knows? Fury and Decay. Physical attacks get plus 1 if we're a chump, and if we do 2 damage... Shit. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna get hit real hard right now, so I may as well burn a slam away. And uh, here's a good one. Here's here's the, this will balance it back out again. Thanks, mate. And ooh, he's gonna take extra now, and this will put us in a very nice position. Can we? No, we're gonna die. We actually just needed to to block one. If we had withstand, we'd be we'd be back here and we'd be done. But uh, let's go back to the main screen because we need to chuck up our uh, adventurers anyway. So we'll go back. Uh, our Orlid. Oh, we had Orald. No, Orlid. Which animal huh. would be a dungeoneer? A cunning fox? Alan, an the barbarian. Or a fearsome beast for a, a name that strikes condemning. fear into the hearts of all enemies. This dungeoneer's a lemming. A lemming indeed. So we have a ranger, we have a shapeshifter, and the alchemist, and obviously some gear. I... I kind of want gear actually, but we'll try out the ranger, which I have never actually had. What abilities do they have? Can we see? Feck it, let's just go for it. Fucking balls out, let's just go for it. So let's build the ranger off to the south here, the archery range. Oh, not allowed. Oh, well, here you go. Nizbani, the ranger. The guild is looking for a swift kind of guy who wants to be seeking out danger. While fond of poking beasts in the eye, I give to you a ranger. 
So I'm not quite sure what the ranger actually does. I I feel like I need a little bit of flexibility though. I might go with starting hand size just for a bit. Uh, starting hand size, I guess, will give me um, a chance to get a feel for the ranger as well, so I don't die quite so fast. Uh, but actually, we're, we're burned already, straight from the outset. Yeah, you better pick up that loot before some other chump gets it, right? Ow, chump. I'm not sure, I can't actually re-choose the chump as an adventure at the moment. I'm a little bit bummed about it. That's alright. We'll get over it together, with a little bit of help. Is that, what the hell is that? Grey Ooze. Mundane. Magical tanks get plus one damage. Okay, so it's a magical equivalent equivalent of... Uh, oh, balls. It's a mag magical equivalent of uh, Frail. So I'm doing a bit of magic here, but it doesn't feel right. So let's camouflage. We block it. That's not too bad, actually, because we get to uh, chalk up our attacks now. Next physical damage is uh, going to hit real hard. That should actually kill him dead. 2 plus 2? Look at that. That's not too bad, actually. It feels like the Cat Burglar in the uh, that sort of powering up style way. Where we get to power up with a bit of magical and a little bit of physical here. Oh, I thought we'd never get through there. I was really worried about that. Alright. I'm hoping for a level 2 here on the Massive Gem, actually. I don't want another level 1 because uh, we really need gear for the Minotaur. And we can't go around the Minotaur. We actually have to take him on, unfortunately. Ain't no cheating. No cheating allowed. Is it still cheating though, if it's actually allowed? That's the that's the philosophical question. If nobody sees you cheat, is it still cheating? That style of thing. Oh well, let's just take this guy down. We'll use our reserve damage to offset his health. His health gained, I should say. Well, let's throw a pigeon nest on our head. Oh no, let's not. Shit. Well, look. What good ranger would be complete without a hand axe? Bloody hell. It kind of makes absolutely no difference. Oh, fucking, let's use the ooze. It makes no difference if we're ranged or not. I don't get to attack from one square away. And I don't get quick on a lot of abilities, which I feel would be really great. The crossbow is not a bad item, which we uh, picked up before, but I wasn't the ranger. Uh, it does, does do a couple of damage, and it's quick, and it blocks one. It's... Yeah, it's really intensely good. But in the meantime, we got to deal with this. Pretend that we're that we're magicians by doing magic damage. Oh shit! I've just wasted that completely. That's all right. That's actually helped because now now we can kill him because we get that plus one credit of damage. Put the deposit at the bank of pain, and let's stock up on some health. Of course, pretty straight check it. That soldier's helmet. I swear it's a Tupperware container or an upturned pot. I will take on the snake. I don't want to kill the snake, but I, I'm hoping the fountains get burnt on this fight. But I don't, I don't think they do. Yeah, they don't. I, I just don't want the ranger to be fighting the minotaur straight up like that. <sighs> that's that's the killer though. You got to pick one of these fountains and cop it right on the bloody chin. Well, I mean, preferably um, drink from it or something like that. Although if NetHack has taught me anything, it's stay the feck away from fountains. Importantly. Oh, what have I just lost here? Ah, uh, the wooden, uh, the wooden shots, that's alright. Nizbani has brought it home for the team. And what do we actually get here? Tattered Mail gives us nice repel. Shift gives us a quick attack, and we will take that. Our ranger, I feel, is better with a stiletto over a hand axe. Feels nice at that way. Now, I, I was really hoping for a massive gem to put it on this sort of wellish section here, but uh, we're jumping in, completely ah. unprepared. And the Minotaur is quite beefy. Oh, we're pretty equivalent on the health, actually. That's not too bad. That hurts, though. That hurts a lot. Um, can we... Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do the slice. That should do nice, nice chunk of damage. But, uh, just can't... He's taken more damage than I am, but the problem is... Oh, no, this is it. We're going to bring it home now. Now, he's got Fury, though. Physical attack deal plus one damage and five health or less, so I need to... I can't kill him. But we're gonna give it a shot. We did it! I don't know why I did plus one. Fury... Ah, because he was under half, half health. Let's take the spear with an interrupt. Well, that's nice, that's alright. 
And do we just keep on walking through to the, uh, the objective, mate? No, actually, well, look, I wanted to go to the fountain room. How ridiculous is that? So, lucky I got the massive gem to drag my ranger into this room. Beautiful. That is the ranger. A little bit weird. For your lucrative plundering after all your Let us not waste any time. Let us jump straight back in. Who we got? The ocular rift. Left Steal the orb of nosiness. Wandering. I think we'll go for Trickster's favor. And we will simply go for more loot to get to the end as fast as possible. Collect one orb of nosiness. Who's this guy? How dare you interrupt me during my evening entertainment? Thought you could steal my prize? Oh shit, he's actually there. I was hoping he wouldn't be there. But uh, now that he is, I guess we got something to do. Let's take on the snake, which might be a superb error. Given the amount of health on that bloody snake. All physical attacks are quick, plus one damage if they were already quick. That is actually good. I didn't know that. This has either just come in, or I've been blind the entire time. That's quite nice, actually. Ah, that explains why I did two damage to the Minotaur. Oh, I get stuff. I get stuff. Alright, well, we can't actually kill this guy, but we can do quite a bit of damage. So, can we get through... We can block it. Buff our damage. And hope for a, a Tufa. No, well... We're hoping for a quick here. Just... No, oh, we did block it. <laughs> Shit. This is tense. Stand, oh, it's, it's successful. No, it's not It's not going to be successful tonight, mate. Uh, I'm actually quick, though, which is nice. That actually saved my bloody skin there on this uh, high damage snake. Let's get some defense happening here. A little bit of defense with the daisy chain. So I'm actually going to make a beeline for the orb of nosiness. What level is he, anyway? He is... 11 health, death 5 and flame 5, but he's also frail, which could work to my benefit. Let us just uh, have a couple of lobies in here. And then on the way out, we'll try and have a couple of better better mobs on the way out to warm up on. I, I, I think it was too close on that snake. Can't deal with it, man. Can't deal with it. No. I'm not going to let him get his uh, no health back. And we'll uh, put some more damage in the bank here. I consider it just pulling the bowstring. I don't really feel like it's camouflage. Like, I'm just pulling the bowstring all the way back. Alright, mate. Alright, alright, alright. Enough of that nonsense. Give me the loot. Give me the fangs. I need them. Uh, fire blast, twig, hand axe. I like the hand axe in this case. Uh, now that I know I have quick, I get a bit of def quick defensive and uh, double damage quick. So, uh, we're going to check the mimic here. I actually wanted it where I'm standing, but I can't do that, but uh, this is better than nothing, I guess. I don't want to take on the barrel. I don't trust the barrel. And it's not like we're best buddies. I'm not really friends with the Great Ooze either, or anything like that, but uh, yeah. Alright, let's do this. Come on. Fast game's a good game, mates. Got a punch on through. Let's just balance this completely the way out. Although, yeah, he did take the extra because he's a chump, which is kind of nice. Susceptible to magic. I don't really consider it magic, but uh, Leatherbound Tome gives us some magic abilities for absolutely nothing. So I'm also hoping because it's physical. Oh, the bone arm is beautiful. Bone helmet's pretty cool, actually. But uh, not super. Ooh, that's not too bloody bad. I might go for the sword, but the bone armor gives me. Yeah, the bone armor's quite nice, and I don't have any armor, so I've got plus one heart. And it gives me armor, too. It's not a bad item. So I'm gonna throw out another snake. Because uh, he's not he's not a shade. <laughs> I feel like I can kill a snake at this level. Items are dropping are actually pretty sweet. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. So... Oh, that's unfortunate. Balance this out, of course. While we can. And... Yep, this is nice. This is real nice. There's not a huge amount of damage going on at the moment, just because we're all low levels. Uh, the next, there's a kind of, oh, I wouldn't call it a secondary campaign, but the uh, the game does take a left turn uh, quite soon, and it gets uh, very interesting and very difficult all at the same time. And by that I mean it's um, it's fun as heck. And the spells actually hit much harder, and they're more varied. 
So it's I, I kind of consider this first part of the campaign the introductory part of the campaign. That's not too hard unless you have a really bad balance like you use the Mime against the Mimic Queen or a Mime against the Minotaur or the Mime against the Lich King or the Death Knight. Uh, any of those basically. So most of it's pretty doable. Pretty doable, I suppose. If you're struggling too much, then you uh, you need to reconsider, I guess. Okay, look, I'm just gonna try and... Uh, oh, okay, we'll just go with the wooden arrow. To try and get some damage through, I don't want to waste a lot of it. So, oh, this, this is quick anyway. Two quick magic damage, beautiful. Alright, mate, I think we're ready to take on this guy. Ooh, that's not too bloody bad. Oh, the crossbow. See, that's very nice. This gives us... Oh, okay, because we're ranged as well. So the crossbow works out a lot for us. So let's open this up. The crossbow works out. What did we actually score from that? Doesn't tell us. But we scored shift and interrupt. Now they're both quick, which means they get plus one damage. So interrupt is two physical damage, block two magic, and and quick. That's amazing. Come on, this Barney. I think we've got this in the bloody bag, mate. We've got this in the eyeball slapping bag. Why is he? Why is he annoyed? He's frail. He'll take plus one physical damage. He's got a little bit more health, but I feel like we're probably gonna be okay. Let's just punch him. And save some of our defense, defensive spells for later. And I'm going to do this. To get the health and actually to get another card to give us a little bit more flexibility. He's taking extra physical, so we should probably do this. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like getting slapped in the old eyeballs. Oh, interrupt. Beautiful. Block most of that damage. That was lovely. So he curses... Uh... Yeah, that's not good. That's not fun for me. Let's get another card back because we have to discard one. I like my flexibility. Thanks, mate. And we'll go in with an unblockable quick attack, and that's the Eye Beast! Look at that, the Ranger's amazing! How good is the Ranger? There we have it, we got it, we got the crossbow and the bone armor though, that was fantastic. A song. Oh, look, it's your a thousand and thirty-eight gold! Just that is the most the gold. I'm so What's Do going on? All come back alive? Well, I suppose if they don't, uh, they, least, they tried. They all tried. Well, that was, that was quite impressive by the ranger. What's this about? Jar of Eyeballs. Nosy Eye. I've been the, this has been the Guild of Dungeoneering with the Orb of Nosiness and the Eye Beast and the Ranger. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.